So guys, we planted an orchard. Today, we need to get our orchard planted because the trees came on a Monday and it's now a Saturday, which means that they've been waiting to be planted for almost a week now. So we are going to be getting them in the ground. Now, so far, I feel like we're in the movie Holes because we decided let's just start digging the holes and then we'll get the trees planted all at once so that they don't have to be out of their little box for too long. We have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven holes. There they are. Well, friends, I am officially exhausted. It hurts to walk or move or do anything at all, but I'm happy to say this tree box has no trees in it left. Still has some raspberries left to plant, but other than that, we are all done with planting the orchard and my body says so. So let's go take a look at the very last tree going in the ground right now. So close. exhausted and really really sore but guys spring has sprung check it out the grass is like bright green and everything around me is just telling me that it's spring and I'm so excited see my hair this is what you look like when you have spent four, five, six hours <laughs> planting trees. Oh my gosh, guys. In my mind, I thought, you just dig a hole and you plant some trees. You dig some holes, plant some trees. Piece of cake. Nope, I take that back. Anybody who wants to start an orchard, just be prepared for maybe what might be the biggest workout of your life. Especially when you try to do it all in one day because you don't want those trees to be sitting out. My back is not happy about planting all these trees in one day, but that's okay. I'm making us a power lunch. And later today, I'm gonna build a chicken coop slash tra tractor for our newest chicks to get outside, move around. So guys, we planted an orchard. It is done, we finished, and it feels so good. And five years from now, I hope that we have lots of produce, fruit, nuts. Well, maybe not nuts quite yet. This day will have been so worth it. Plus, I gotta go break out. Ugh. <laughs> this year is going to kick my butt in terms of the work, preparing the garden. I am all about no-till, I'm all about permaculture, but it does require some more upfront work, especially when you're not tilling and using machines to till the soil, you're using your uh, sweat labor, I guess. <laughs> Breaking up sod, digging holes, and all of that manually is a lot of work. But it's good. It's good for the soul. It's good for the body. And this food is going to taste so much better because I am hungry and my body is hungry. So, ow. Literally moving hurts, guys. So I'm going to cook up some eggs, roast some sweet potato and onions. I have some leftover pancakes. I'll toast some bread. Going to be a bit of a power lunch, so...
had time to nap because I could totally snooze right now. Yeah. I'm so tired. We are gonna go, well, I need to edit this video so you guys can all see it. And then we're gonna go plant some raspberries and I'm gonna build a chicken tractor and Chris is gonna work on the barn and we're just gonna keep on keeping on. Thanks for what being here. Do. We will talk to you soon. Bye friends.